Oh, my beautiful lawn, and I worked so hard on it. It's all dead. And I blew up my own charger. We went in search of something to eat. Couldn't find anything. But then we did. And the projects begin. Apple Dog's got her place. That's her bench now. That used to be Terry's bench, but now it's Apple Dog's bench. Hot huh, Apple Dog. Hmm. She don't want to be messed with. This is the outdoor kitchen, or dirty kitchen, as it's referred to in the Philippines. Uh, some of the last photos I had, we didn't even have cabinets in here, so we've had cabinets installed before. We've had doors put on the, the counters. And we've got the extra gas burner stove out here. And the barbecue pit. That's a Weber. With a new grill on it. And the bar, which hasn't seen much use since we left. The poor old neglected bar. Oh well. And this is Kiwi's home. She lives outdoors now. She don't like to go in the house no more. And she's, uh, we've discovered she's completely deaf. She can't hear anything. But she's getting up in the air. She's probably, uh, how old are you, Kiwi? About 12? Yeah. Probably uh, lost her hearing as a result of ear mites. This is the side yard, which we haven't done anything with yet except plant a few things. This tree when we left was about four feet tall. Now it's like almost 30 feet tall. Unreal how things grow here. Well the sun's been up for about an hour and a half and roosters are still growing and it's absolutely dead quiet in this village. It's a stark contrast to what we like during the evening hours. Not a peep. Wow, just what a couple years will do to the landscape. Everything's just overgrown. All my grass here is gone. And all the grass is gone basically because of all the shade that's been created by the magic mango tree. This is what my beautiful grass looked like before the magic mango tree created all the shade. Which you'll see in a minute. The grass is really struggling to survive here with no sun. Uh, this tree here was only about seven feet tall when we left. Now it's probably 20 feet. Everything is really grown. This cactus has been cut down from what I understand three times since we left. Everything's surviving. This has had been cut way back. This thing is a monster. It's become a jungle in here. Okay, the magic mango tree. Is right there. Seven years it took to grow and before it actually put on fruit. And I don't know if you can see, but there's some mangoes up there. Uh, I think my sister in law said uh, they've taken at least 50 mangoes off during this harvest. That's not bad for a small tree. The good side to all this is I have no grass to cut no more. Okay, I started this project by inspecting the new water heater. And this is the instruction manual. One page. Connections. And the first thing 
I need to do is check the power supply. We'll find a breaker. Here's the breaker. It's pretty, there's two breaker boxes in here. It's pretty dark. So I went to get my trusty uh, mag light so I could see what I'm doing. And it's been uh, rusted solid. So, there goes that mag light. Got the power discombobulated. I'm looking at this thing and I can't recall how I even set this thing up. Terry says that uh, we never did have the shower hooked up because Mama didn't want the shower. All she wanted was the warm water going to the bucket. So we got warm water going down there. But now I gotta figure out how to reconfigure this whole thing under the sink here. I put a, uh, let me see, you can't see it. I put a cutoff valve there, which cuts off the incoming water to the water heater, which feeds this sink. So the water heater feeds this sink and this faucet. The shower head never did work. All right, this is coming from the cutoff valve into the water heater. Heats up right here, comes out, goes back to the sink. Also goes down to this faucet. So, obviously this line and that line are shared. This is why I don't like putting plumbing inside the walls. You can't ever tell what's what. But I think what I'm going to have to do is, uh, this water line coming out, split it. I think this maybe used to be where the shower was designed to go before. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to just unhook all the water lines and turn the water on and see where it comes from and where it goes. Oh well, nothing a cold San Miguel beer won't figure out tonight. Here's my new problem. The water inlet and outlet, uh, the water inlets and outlets on these devices are backwards. In other words, one's opposite of the other. So that means I'm going to need a longer line to get over to here and then this line has to go over to here. So I now I need two new lines. All right, I know what I need. I'm going to town, get some parts. All right. Hon. Yeah. I'm going to town, you wanna to go with me? Yes. Can we get something to eat while we're in town? Yes. I'm getting hungry. Yeah, me too. Terry says she's not gonna decorate for Christmas because it's too much of a hassle and we don't have that much time. So I took care of that. Decorated for Christmas. Apple Duck, stay here and guard the house. Okay, come on. We're going to town. I got a list. I have a list of things. Open them gates. Sir, Merry Christmas. And you, Happy New Year. I, I got you. After a short chat with our Brongai captain, we were off to town. Taken over by vendors. 
Well, there's very few places to park. We went to McDonald's. Stood in line for what 20 minutes? Okay, uh, yeah, more like Got to the counter and uh, out of product. Out of product. Out of, out meaning, of stuff. Meaning they don't have nothing. Nothing. Not even coffee. So we're going to Jelly Bees. It's the Jelly Bean. And the line is like around the block. Thank you, McDonald's. Hey, I wonder if we can eat a mercury drug. Are you hungry yet? Uh, yeah. To get from here to there requires courage and an act of. Well, you gotta have some daredevil in you. Decided to go the opposite direction. Look for breakfast. Fun. It's right there. I thought it was like way up the street. It used to be Isla Cafe. Looks the same, doesn't it? Wow, no line here. I was wondering why nobody was sitting in the coldest spot in the house. Because it's wet. <laughs> it's wet. You see it's dripping. Cafe Danya. Used to be the cafe, or Isla Cafe. And I'll tell you a story about when we first came here. Uh, roughly nine and a half years ago. We, we come in here to eat all the time and I'd always get my usual ham, egg and cheese omelet. And uh, so one day I came in, ordered my usual, the omelet, and it, I, it was almost 15 minutes later when the, uh, the young lady came out and she said, sir, uh, omelets are out of stock. And I said, how can omelets be out of stock? So I asked the question, do you have eggs? Yes, Bo, we have eggs. I said, do you have cheese? Yes, Bo, we have cheese. Do you have ham? Uh, yes, Bo, we have ham. I said, we have ham, egg, and cheese. How can your omelets be out of stock? No and she mushroom. says, <laughs> she <laughs> says, mushrooms are out of stock. Well, we finally got our food. And these are my uh, sunny side up over easy eggs, cooked through and through. After picking up some parts at the uh, City Hardware, we decided to head back to town, but not before we stopped and had my air conditioning on the car recharged. It's only been, uh, well, nearly four years since we had the, the uh, air conditioner serviced, and it was just a little bit low on Freon, so we topped it off and headed home. And then what did I do? I went to charge the battery. Plugged the charger into 220, blew the charger up. <laughs> I'm as guilty as the rest of them. Okay, after about two hours, I got it fixed. And I did manage to hook a shower up with a little help from the hardware man at City Hardware. He found me this little, uh, this, uh, Cut off valve, which works perfectly. Cut the shower hose off, so now we got shower. Now, my crocodile needs painting. <laughs>